hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about fenty beauty this is their two little stennas mini lip paint and these are the shade unmatched and underrated i love how they perform and we're about to find out if they are staying consistent with their formula so stay tuned to see how these turn out One thing you do have to remember about these lipsticks, because I have these, I actually have the full sizes of them, um, is that you want to always make sure that you take off the excess because a little product goes a very long way. And if you have too much product on your lips, then it's gonna take longer to dry. Trust me, I found that out the hard way. So tap off the excess. Whenever you take the lid off, you wanna just gently take off any excess product that's there before you apply it or else you're gonna be asking for trouble. It's gonna transfer and um, we don't want that happening. So just kinda keep that in mind. I do notice that it's bordering a pinky red now that it's drying down. When I first swatched it, it looked a lot more red, but to me it's kinda drying down to like a pinky red shade not sure how i feel about that but this is what it's looking like now the formula is great just as i remembered it just not quite sure of the color description that they used for this i'm just gonna do a little transfer test here so i have my tea in my yeti mug and there is nothing there maybe just a little bit you can barely see it these actually do stain the lips rather quickly so that's another indication that it's going to be a long wearing lipstick which they are there's still a little bit more lipstick there on my lips but this should do the trick and then we'll move on to our second shade and this shade is called underrated I can say one thing that's a little annoying is how short this applicator is. It's like it's blocking the areas that I need to see so that I make sure that I'm applying my lipstick precisely. It's kind of blocking it so it's hard to see while I'm applying it. And it also gets like super close to your lips so um, yeah hopefully they work on that as you can see yeah that's a super short applicator compared to let's see what the full size one looks like yeah so the full size one definitely gives you a little bit more room so that you can precisely apply the lipstick where the mini makes it a little bit more challenging to get that nice and precise application so i hope that they work on that like we don't need all of this right here uh, it's cute and everything but we don't need all that we need more of the actual applicator so it's like a waste of product right there because this is not functional at all. This part, the actual applicator, I need that to be functional so that I can get my lipstick on properly and without challenges. So this is the shade that I'm going to be wearing for the rest of the evening. Right now, let's do our time check. It is 3.53 p.m. So let's just call it 4 p.m. And then I'll be wearing this for the rest of the evening. I have not had dinner yet. So I usually do like an eight hour test. But I don't know if I want to stay up until midnight. So I'll probably check in around 10. Maybe I can stretch it to 11. But these days I've been going to bed 
very early and I don't think tonight's gonna be any different. A lot of you guys are interested in how these wear and how they perform throughout the day. So I am more than happy to test these out for you guys so that you know what you're working with. So um, yeah, I'll be back later tonight and we shall see what this looks like. So I will check in with you guys later. Okay guys, I am back. Let's go ahead and do a quick time check. So it is 9.50 p.m. And I put this lipstick on around four. So right now it's 10 o'clock. So I've been wearing this lipstick for six hours. This is the shade Underrated, uh, which is this one. And this is what it looked like when I first swatched it. And this is what it looks like now. Sort of like a tinted lipstick. The color is clearly still there. And um, typically what I do find with lipsticks after wearing them for a few hours or several hours is that it starts to fade right in the center. But the way this one uh, faded was it faded evenly um, and I think from the food that I ate which had some oils in it I actually had some ribs today which was so good usually what I see is that it starts to fade from the center and then the perimeter of my lips is the last place for the lipstick to disappear and I love that I still have lipstick on every surface area of my lips. It's still there. They don't feel drying or feel crumbly. It actually feels smooth um, across the board. I also noticed that the lines in my lips get emphasized just a little bit more because it seeps in there uh, as it got drier. But like I said, it's not really visible. If you look closely, if you're really trying to scrutinize the lipstick you can definitely see that it seeps into the small lines of your lips and it does emphasize it a little bit more which will happen most naturally with a lot of matte lipsticks the longer you wear it but the good news is i still have lipstick on my lips and we are six hours in but i am calling it a night because i am getting exhausted and it's definitely past my bedtime. So this is the result that you get after six hours, at least for me. It depends on what you do throughout your day, but I didn't change anything in my day. And this is what it looks like for me. I want to know what you guys think of the shades and what you think about how these lipsticks perform. But that's all I got for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And also don't forget to click your notification bell because I don't know how else you're gonna know whenever I post a lip swatch video. It does help my channel and it helps me to continue to provide more content like this for you guys so that you don't waste your money, especially during the holidays and for gift given. It's always good to know how lipsticks perform so i appreciate every single one of you and i will see you guys in my next video bye